that all the time. Yeah. Uh, you, strangely, I, I think yesterday, at one stage, it came through the pot and then it went back to tepid again. Okay. And how long has it been playing up for? Um, well, my wife first noticed it probably a week ago. Okay. But because we've been having some work done, we haven't been using using the hot water as much. And um, it was only yesterday when when we really wanted to use it that we noticed just how cool it was. Okay. Okay, okay. Some of the top of hot water. Central link's working okay. New boiler. Initial lot of weeks of taps about. So we're just gonna run the hot tap, see if we've got any flow. Any temperature escaping down the flow pipe. Check the temperature coming out the hot tops on the floor, right? Alright, there we go. That's a special wood, right? We've just disconnected the shower. And now we've got hot water flowing. So that's telling us the mixer valve. It's passing between the hot and the cold. Cold water's finding its way back into the hot and diluting it, slowing it down as it's going back. It's more likely to be on a shower, generally because you've got one cartridge that's controlling hot and cold. suspicion it was a mixer tap got a relatively new boiler lots of mixer taps about mixer shower when the boiler fired up it didn't even ramp up it just stayed at a low modulation it didn't even overheat it just carried on the way it was on a low fire so we've not even taken the case off the boiler we just followed our suspicion to start with and uh, our suspicion proved to be true. We had a temperature sensor on the flow pipe from the boiler just to make sure we was not losing any temperature in the central heating circuit. Want to remember, it's quite a common fault. Shower valves passing, causing the hot water performance to be very poor. <laughs>